All right. What's happening, everybody, today? It's April 5th, 2021. Getting back after it. We're in the paint. We're trying to get all the rebounds we can. Trying to create some second chance points here. Because for the rest of the week after today, it's going to be terrible, terrible, terrible weather. As you can probably hear by the wind, there's a new front coming in. And so, really have to uh, batten down the hatches today. It's supposed to rain tonight and continue throughout the rest of the week until the weekend. When we, uh, I wrote some chalk on the ground last night, yesterday. I didn't show everybody. But I will show you now. <clears throat> Got a little busy yesterday, so I wrote, and I don't know, I kind of, you know, you're 50-50. Maybe people will leave it alone, or maybe people will dump water on it and censor my speech. But everything looks good today. Doesn't look like anybody got triggered. So, keeping it light today. Just trying to get in some time before the stormy weather. The next five or six days. So, looking forward to some interesting conversations. So, here's our setup. Had to put some extra tape together and really get everything. Because you gotta focus. You don't wanna be talking to somebody and you gotta deal with your fact checkers information. Um. So here we are. Nice and easy. No need to overwhelm. Although, I might as well just get right into it. That's what I always say. It's like a band aid, just take it right off. No need to rock it back and forth like a vending machine. Those girls on the far left there by the trail were really heavy into looking at what's going on over here. I kind of felt uncomfortable. That was it. All right. So keep an eye on. Uh, oh, looks like they're uh, getting their wares together. So just uh, keep an eye out. Oh, gotta grab some. Come on, my. Brought some doggy treats also, just in case any puppies come by who uh, get a little out of hand. 
maybe their uh, their mask owners can't really think very good uh, when to feed them and when to give them treats because they're wearing a mask all the time and they have oxygen deprivation. You know, once you deplete your oxygen from your brain and you continually add like a flow, continuous flow of CO2 in your bloodstream, you can't ever re repair that. So if you're, you know, dipping it down to like 98, 97%, because you're wearing a mask, let's just even give you grace and say you were at 100% before. If you stop wearing a mask, that's great. Really encouraged by that. But it's not going to, you know, go back to 100%. It's just like smoking a cigarette. You know, you're not ever going to get back to that level where it really counts. And so, it's a real nice windy day today good opportunity to just you know, maybe take the mask off and get some fresh oxygen into your bloodstream maybe pump the brakes a little bit I see that a lot I see a lot of pumping the brakes when I'm driving yesterday when we were driving home saw two accidents one was really bad somebody said that they think the person in the car may have died. So, you know, that's what'll that's what'll happen. You know, when you get your oxygen level down to a certain percentage, you know, but what do I know? You know, I've only lived with a lung illness for the last 39 and a half years in May of 1981, diagnosed at three months old requested asked to you know hey suggestion you might want to get a lung transplant at the age of nine so still looking for that overabundant number of covid victims getting a lung transplant any of you healthy people who got over covid19 think that they had to get a lung transplant did it ever cross your mind did it ever cross your mind that i'm not going to be able to get out of the hospital unless I get a lung transplant. Well, 100% of all the people with cystic fibrosis die. And a good majority of them get lung transplant. Looking for anybody with COVID got a lung transplant? Who are those people again? So I have no sympathy for the devil, which is COVID-19. You're not gonna get my praise and worship. I'm not intimidated by you. I'm already 30 years past my expiration date, so what do I give a rip for? I'll stay in my lane though. How you guys doing? Yeah, doing good. Playoffs coming. Can't wait to watch it with no fans in the crowd. It's gonna be awesome. Maybe they'll just uh, start augment reality people. That'd be nice. Hey, ladies, doing? Hi. What are you doing? Oh, just hanging out, talking about flat Earth. Oh. Okay. Yeah, outer space is fake. Oh, you're doing a podcast. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. What well, What's your shirt for? Did you have somebody who passed away because of an addiction? I'm in recovery. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Six months strong. Well, that's great. Thank you. Well, glad to hear it. Where do you get your strength from? The strength, yes. Like, how do you go every day? Like, because I mean, it's got to be tough every day, right? Yeah, I've been uh, going in and out of treatment for years. Sure. Now I have prison time on my head, so. Mm. And I have kids I, that need me. Mm -hmm. So I just. Yeah. You know. Well, I'll be proud I have more will mm -hmm. this time. Yeah. Well, you, you gotta have a will. Anyway. Well, yeah, I mean, you gotta, you know, get back up, you know. Can I look at that? Oh, of course you can. Yeah, do your thing. Have you ever seen the uh, solar system from that perspective before? No. So, uh, where do you think you live? Do you think uh, you live there, or have you ever questioned that concept before? No. Yeah. What uh, made you get into this? Um, I'm just, uh, you know, tired of getting lied to. You know, when you get lied to by people that you trust, you know, the authority. Yeah. You think that authority would weed things out, right? 
you think that they would uh, you know, have other people's best interest in mind. Oh, wow. But they really oh, don't. Oh, wow. So. Look at this. Yeah, so what do you think about vaccines? The new COVID one? Yeah. Mm. No thanks. <laughs> Got it. What do you think about, like, um, you know, don't mean to get too personal, but uh, do you have kids already? Yeah. Do you ever plan on getting kids again? Mm -mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do you um, think about the idea that I would just, you know, hypothetically, like, right? If you and I were to, you know, hang out mm -hmm. and we liked each other and everything, and then I found out that you got the COVID vaccine, mm -hmm. I would end it. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Um, it's an experimental MNRA drug. Mm. It's never been tested before. There's a lot of rumors about it, mm. and I don't feel comfortable. I think it's a population control type of device. Oh, yeah. I understand what you mean, too. And uh, I really like this human experience, and I want other people to experience it, too. And so I want more people here. Yeah. I'm really passionate about that. Okay. So nice. I'm really uh, passionate about sharing uh, flat Earth and where we are, because I know that uh, a lot of non-vaxxers and a lot of non-maskers, you know, think that they're on the tip of the iceberg, mm -hmm. you know, with, with truth and everything. But when you tell these people about where they come from, really, is water lays level and flat. So all maps are flat because the Earth is flat. And so mountains, valleys, hills and everything, when it rains, the water will pool into its lowest point and level off and then you know, build up as water continues to rise, but it's yeah. always level. And so when the wind isn't, you know, making wake on the lake, uh, it's almost like a mirror, right? And so for miles and hundreds of miles, water lays level and flat, shoreline to shoreline. So mm. some people say like, that makes sense. Uh, where's the edge, right? right. You know? But you can't fall off the edge of a lake. Right? It's a shoreline. So. All of this right here is just, all the oceans are just a giant lake. Oh, they're all connected. They're all connected. Yeah. So Australia is just a giant island. Everything's connected and it's all flat. So, mm. so when you just think in your heart, when, you, when you're at the cabin or something like that and you wake up at like seven in the morning and the, the lake that you're camping out in front of is flat, you can see it like glass. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah, I mean, it's so calm, yeah. you know, it's very peaceful. That's why people escape this city life, you know, to calm down. Here, it's very windy because people's thoughts and anxiety and everything are attributing to the weather here. You know, because we live in an environment that's water vapor, you know, and so our energy puts that off. Like a frog, you know, in sh really shallow creek water that stands still, you can see it like breathing and cricketing over the water and it creates the little ripples. Well, that's us. So all of us, five million of us in Minnesota, everybody's got anxiety about the mask and what's going on. I need money and food. That's where the wind comes from. Most of it, in my opinion. So, something to think about. You know, so I have something like this. You know, so check it out. Thank you. Yeah, man, if you want, you can do it. I mean, I don't know how level it is, but... Uh, Wait, what does this represent? The, the axis? Ah, uh, they're just fun to play with. Oh, okay. You know. Nice. <laughs> it's like a, Inception. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, water is your totem. Water always lays level and flat. So it's the same thing like the movie. You know. So when somebody starts telling you that water can bend and curve to make a ball in outer space that you've never seen before with your own eyes. Right. It's Wild. Seems like snake oil to me. So. Thank you. Yeah, good luck with your Thank you. journey. Thank you. Yeah, take care. What's up, fellas? Just checking it out. We saw you here yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So come out here. You know, it's supposed to rain the rest of the week. Yeah. After today. So really had to get out. So I figured, have you ever been to Boone Park Island before? Is that here in Minnesota? Yeah, it's just uh, down to that away, I think. And it's got a spectacular view of Minneapolis. Yeah, you guys should check it out tonight if it's not raining, you know, or whatever. But if you got time, so. You haven't gotten the COVID vaccine, right? 
<laughs> of course not. I don't know me either. No, I heard there was a recall for like 1.5 million vaccines because of the ingredient mix up, and I'm just like, hear that? Yeah, I'm part of some, you know, obvious uh, alternative groups, and I see some interesting images of some, you know, reactions to the drug, and some are more prevalent than others, you know, I mean, because really, everybody's being experimented on. I've seen people get like hives so, and stuff, like yeah. this mom breast was breastfeeding her child and the child got hives. Mm -hmm. And then there's too many incidents for it to be you know, put out there and they're, they're trying to make everybody force her to get it. Yeah. Bell's palsy too, I've seen like... Mm -hmm. half yeah, I mean that goes away, you know, after a couple of weeks. Yeah. It's not permanent, but it is kind of a, <laughs> you know... Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, so what, like, what is the rest of the group seeing? Because I see a lot of, you know, no, no offense, but Gen Zers around here, and, you know, they're not really on that tip. You know, we talked to a group of fellas yesterday, and, you know, for whatever reason, his mask was quite dirty, right? It was a cloth mask. And he was the only one out of the group wearing a mask, and so they were really adamant about the vaccine and most likely will take it. So, like, how do you deal with conversations like that, like with fellow classmates and stuff? How do you deal with that? I just, I feel like this, like Gen Z, it's like, it's hard to have a one-on-one -on -one engagement in a hard, like, not an argument, but like, mm -hmm. conversation. You know, mm -hmm. they turn it into an argument, and it's mm -hmm. like, they're one-sided. They really don't want to listen to, like, they'll listen to you, what you're saying, but it's like they don't understand it. They don't. They they're just trying to like. Um, I don't know how to say, it, but like, like go against it instead of like trying to understand. It's no respect for your yeah, opinion. Seeing where you're coming right. from. Yeah, yeah. They, they I feel the same way. Opinion. You know. Um, I'm almost forty. I don't look like it, right? right? Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. But regardless, um, I've been overseas, you know, to Southeast Asia, particularly in Thailand, and they the youth respect their elders quite a bit. That's, that's you know. And then you come here to America, and the youth are just like... They don't, they don't know how easy they have it. Uh, I come from an Hispanic household, so I yeah, see oh, course, there, yeah. Right? So Yeah, well, of course, yeah. So I see like where you come from. Thing too, yeah, so and, cool. and Thai people are like that. Um, you know, and Asian cultures are like that, too, and the Hispanic cultures like that. But here in America, though, once you get, like, two or three generations away from the origin of where you're from, it's a little dicey, and it's really too bad that you guys are... And even the blacks and the, even the Asians that come over here, they really start to lose their culture and their identity. You know, so, I mean, not that I'm for this or anything, but it, it has crossed my mind that maybe it would be best for, you know, people, instead of coming here, just come and stay. It's kind of like a vacation. You don't want to get too implemented into the customs and everything, because it is like a cancer. It's really sad to see Americans in Thailand and Bangkok go to a McDonald's. You know, <laughs> so I mean, do you ever um, come across kids that who uh, are on kind of the autistic um, Asperger's spectrum? Okay, sure. Do you think that's why they're not really connecting the dots too much when you're? I think they have like a simple way of living. Like I feel, like yeah. They like they, they seem like the most happiest, or like they they just don't care about what's going on around the world. They just focus on. Mm -hmm. space. Yeah, I've been watching The Good Doctor. Have you ever seen the TV show The Good Doctor? The yeah. Oh yeah, the, yeah, 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 the yeah, autistic yeah, yeah. doctor. Yeah. yeah, so it's kind of like Doogie Howser. It's a TV show that was around uh, my age, around your age, mm -hmm. and it was this savant kid, and you know he was a normal kid, you know, a young kid, but he was at the top level where guys have to work, you know, thirty or forty years to get to where he's at, and he's like twenty, right? So it is kind of the same thing. So when I was watching that TV show, I kind of thought that they were propagating the idea of normalizing autism in such a high level work field as a doctor. You know, like it's one thing if some autistic or Asperger's kids flipping your burgers at Culver's or something like That's that, right? Where I go, yeah. Exactly. So, but, you know, working on your brain, you know, doing like these surgeries and stuff like that. So it kind of started me tearing off into a thought that it's almost like they're a group of people. And if you get rid of the vaccine, you're creating a eugenics program in a sense. And you could kind of argue that idea where if I'm, you know, not really pro-vax, then if I'm not pro-vax, I'm not pro-autism or Asperger's or any other degenerative disease that comes from taking vaccines. And so I'm not for this type or group of people. You're 
uh, that's a eugenics program. How you don't like autistic people? What do you have against Asperger people? It's like, well, I don't want to get rid of the ones who are here now, right? But we can take steps to where we don't have that type, where we all are on the same spectrum, the wavelength, because we th see things in light, you know, in spectrums of light, and we're not. And when you look at some of the, uh, you know, ideas out there, that one of them was a presentation by, you know, former, quote, CIA, right? I don't really think you're ever former, <laughs> especially anything in the military, but... You know, he was given an interesting presentation that they said the vaccine was going to kind of change your reception to our creator in a way. Or maybe even like the, the vibration that we all have together where we know that feeling of like social awkwardness maybe. And autistic people don't have that. I mean, you watch The Good Doctor, you can clearly say, see that they're displaying a type of autistic person and this is how you react to them so the show is basically a teaching mechanism and that's what a lot of these tv shows are that are propagating eugenics programs basically homosexuals and stuff like that trans you know these trying things to trying to make it more acceptable Especially right to the, to the, young to the, to the youth yeah. exactly yeah mm-hmm like yeah, I mean, I'm vaccine aware, you know, so I don't, um, I, um, I'm allergic to shellfish, so when I was 15, for example, my mom and I went to Red Lobster, you know, I don't really like, even then I didn't really, wasn't into it, but my mom likes it, she's like, let me take you to Red, Lo Red Lobster, I was like, okay, so we went to Red Lobster, ate, you know, the whole nine yards. I uh, took a vax after, you know, a couple months later, took a vax, flu shot or whatever. And then my mom and I actually, we went to that same Red Lobster that next birthday, my 16th birthday. And we leave and a couple hours later, I start getting this welts on my skin. Like, and it felt like alligator skin. And I was living in a foster home at the time. And the lady that I was living with and her family, but she was an RN. And yeah, obviously she knew, um, I also have cystic fibrosis too. And so I couldn't breathe. And so we had to go to the ER and they gave me an epi shot and you know, everything was fine, obviously. So this, you know, it's uh, up in the air that this new vaccine or maybe possibly all vaccines have uh, a type of crustacean called horseshoe crab blood in it. So, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's a massive industry for these poor crabs. And they say something like less than 60% after they squeeze them out and take care of it and everything, a good majority of them die. For our, for what, for us? For our, for what? We have an immune system for crying out loud. And so, you know, I can't take this new vaccine. Why would I take this vaccine if I'm allergic to shellfish and I take it and it's got shellfish? essence in it dna yeah. it's crazy we're still trying to find a way to tell you you know you don't care about mm. people you don't care about safety yeah yeah right yeah well i'm not going to set myself on fire to keep you guys warm sorry no matter how cold it is you know so has it ever crossed your mind that outer space is fake and the earth is flat yeah no is that yeah. Yeah, i just i'm just growing up yeah check it out learning Astronauts and yada yada, but sure. Have you ever met an astronaut? No. no. I'm open to hearing about what you got to say. I was just yeah. watching on the, the document, not kind of like a documentary, how the, the first land movie. Mm, yeah. Was yeah. The name was fake. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what I saw too. Sure. Uh, 100%. Yeah. What was it called? Um, Remember? I have it. I don't know, but I okay. just saw it like, you, like, 30 minutes ago. There's a good one called Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Moon by Bart Sabrell. You should check that out. It's like a little... And Michael Collins, oh, okay. sure. from the most important mission ever accomplished in human here. history. They have just been on the moon. They are the first human beings to have ever visited another celestial body and to have safely returned from it. <laughs> on the recovery ship, they, like, they start getting really paranoid during their interviews, like, mm. talking about space, and they're like, oh, what's it like? Did you see any stars? And they're like, no, we can't call so many stars. Mm. Um, the moon is in respect. 
it's like a new era. Mm. It's, it's, uh, seems like covert talk to me. Yeah, a lot of three of them disappeared, you know, mm. designed mm. like NASA. Some of them became NASA alcoholics. Yeah, yeah. You know? turned to drugs. That's mm. literally what they said in the, in the video. Right? Yeah. It seemed like they were being forced to say something. Like, like they were lying. They, mm. All of their body language showed that they were like probably not telling the truth. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I've seen plenty of football championships and they win and they storm the, the field and then afterwards they're all smiley, they're all giddy. These guys, when they did their interview after they came yeah. back from the moon, they look like they just it's kicked sad. somebody's dog. Yeah, depressed. It was like a funeral. <laughs> yeah, it was like the, yeah, it was a funeral. It really kind of was. Um, but do you guys have any questions? Like, what have you ever thought about Flat Earth when you've ever heard about it? What's your first instinct? The edge. Uh-huh. That's all I know. I've seen videos. I like videos like the conspiracy theories. And, sure. You know, oh, like well, that. um, like the you edge. know how they say the crust? Mm -hmm. The Earth's crust? How it's just all... It's got layers it's theory, and stuff? Kind of, oh, yeah. It's not even, like... Or is it, like, proving? It's all a mm -hmm. theory. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, technically, you know, if you melt down a magnet and everything, or metals, you know, it loses its magnetism. So it's kind of illogical to think that, you know, we live on a gobstopper, right. you know, like that. There's like, There's like a core there. in the center of it, yeah. And so, you know, human beings have only drilled eight miles. Yeah. So shout out to Eminem. But after that, anything more is, you know, hypothetical. Yeah. It's totally theoretical. And then they can claim that they make these devices and whatnot. And really, it's like, you know, back in the 1800s when you see some caravan going by and you stop them and you're like, hey, what do you got in your wares? He's like, well, I got this. It'll make you walk on water. And that's really what they're doing to people right now. You know, they're selling people talismans everywhere. And you see one of them on everybody's face right now. And so, um, but really, if you think about it, the lake here behind you, it's contained by a shoreline, right? Right. So, I mean, if we cut out and stitched out, you know, giant little uh, styrofoam continents and we looked them up and we made them look like this. Here, have you ever seen what a flat earth map looks like? I thought it was like a, like a square. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the Mercator map. Um, and so this would probably be a more uh, generalized idea of what most people in the community think about flat earth, where the center is the North Pole. It may or may not have a giant tree in the middle of it called Mount Maru. That's where we get all of our magnetism. But it may or may not be chopped down, you know. So they may have chopped it down. Some people think that there's a giant ice wall that goes around like this. Here. That's Antarctica. That's what they would call, yeah, that's what the establishment would call Antarctica. People in your school call this Antarctica. You know. And so... Uh, for me, uh, what I feel led to believe is that um, when water lays level and flat like this and there's continents and land like we could put out in the lake there, well, what's here in the blue? How do you know? It's logic if you want to believe people that made this map told you that there's nothing there. Okay? You have to question everything about this place. Literally, you have to put this whole place under investigation, okay? And a lot of circumstantial evidence shows when you watch TV and movies, they really push globe propaganda. They want to remind you that you live here, okay? And anybody who thinks that the earth is flat and when water is contained by shoreline is crazy. So they're preemptive striking, science, we did this before. You know, they want you to believe other prophets, which is no different than why people were celebrating yesterday. Of course, it. Yeah. I mean, I'm spiritual. You know, I do believe that Christ died for me. I mean, that's what I hold a lot of. I mean, I'm not the perfect man by any means, which encourages me to be out here because I'm willing to risk what I have to come out here and share this. You know, but. Just like our creator, he's infinite. Right? He, he can think of things that we can't even fathom, right? So with that being said, there is a firmament above us, a ceiling talked about in Genesis 1. And so it's like a glass ceiling, you know, something that separates the two. Because, you know, he's perfect, we're not, you know. 
just a, that's just the way it is. Some people can't accept that, you know, we make mistakes. And other people can't admit that they were wrong, which is really sad. Um, but just like him, the sky and the ground go on infinitely forever parallel to each other, in my opinion. And they're just more water and land. There's no edge, per se. If you want to limit your mind to an edge, go on ahead. Here's your edge right here. It's a ball. It's contained in your mind, right? You have the ball. You have your limitations. You can only have so much water and land on that. Now, sure, a lot. there's a lot of water here. Could be more land right here. Could be, right? But I don't know, and I don't need to believe what they tell me because I, need to want, to, I want to get an A plus in school or I want to get a job and I want to conform and wear a mask at my work because I need to. You know, or get a vax because I want to get Timberwolves tickets or Twins tickets. Where, where do you think all this is coming from? Like, you know, how the politicians, like, what side? Mm -hmm. uh, both sides. The best way to control the opposition is to control both sides. Guess who the opposition is? You. You are the terrorist. Even though they spray our skies, that's not bioterrorism at all. No. Bill Gates has never said that he wants to basically geoengineer the sky and block out the sun to create uh, a better climate for global warming. So which what they're really doing, in my opinion, is they're cooling the earth down. We can't live in cold weather. I mean, my goodness, I can't believe you guys live here this long. <laughs> Seriously, it gets cold here in February. It gets cold here. I can't even do this. Can you imagine if I could do this every day in like some other warm area in Florida. America, Florida. I mean, my goodness. I would be going hard in the paint all the time. What does that mean? I'm so, um, I'm the second wave. I'm not getting the vax. You know? I am the remnant that's going to be left behind, I guess. You know? Or you you two, obviously. You know, we, we need to hide the last child that has not been vaccinated. <laughs> we need to hide them like Jesus, right? I'm not kidding, tell your friends. You need to hide this. You need to run away from anyone that tells you if you get a vaccine, you get free Krispy Kreme donuts. That's ridiculous. What do you believe about the solar system? Uh, they're just lights in the sky. Yeah. You are against vaccination? I'm sorry? Are you against vaccination? Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Why? Yeah. Uh, I think it's a eugenics program. Remember in the 1930s and 40s? Same thing. Just different way. Different time. Different type of people. Different mask. They have a different face. That's all it is. You know, every 10, 20 years they do this. 9-11. You know, the housing crash, 2009, 2010. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's good that you guys are clued in, you know. Hopefully you can share and be confident and tell your friends, you know. And sometimes you just got to start walking down a different path. You know, they're walking down this path, you got to go down that path. It's no big deal. Maybe you'll meet up in the end. Maybe you'll meet up a couple months later and they'll wake up. But you can't let other people take away your energy and your frequency and how you're supposed to, you know, be. You know, don't let other people make you who you're supposed to be. Yeah, be an individual. It's very, it's very um, rare for people to be an individual nowadays. People usually go with the trends. Mm -hmm. yeah. Be the trend. You guys should be the trend. You know, be the second wave. I mean, if you're not going to get vaccinated, you don't have to shout it out at the top of the rooftops to all your friends. But just, you know, be humble about it and just say, hey, you know what, I'm going to pass. And if they really want to know what's up, if you're in a group and they want to know what's up, just say, hey, you know what, if you want to know what's up, if you feel comfortable telling them there, go for it. But maybe sometimes things are better left said one-on-one, -on -one, you know, if you really care about them. So one thing that's kind of uh, repetitive for a lot of people that are your age is they ask you where your sources are, right? So just say, hey, you know what, I'm going with my intuition. I mean, you have experience, right? You, you've, been, you've been here, I mean, relatively long enough, you know. So you're already a couple steps ahead of the most. So just say, hey, you know what, I'm just going to use my intuition. Because a lot of people want to...
to believe in others are telling them the truth, like authority, teachers, you know, politicians, and the like. But you got to trust your intuition, man. And if you personally, something happens and you didn't get vaxxed and something happens, just be like, hey, that's on me. And I'm just going to roll with it. It's my choice. It's my choice. Just like how it was your choice to get vaxxed. Right. A man doesn't doubt his choices. Okay, he doesn't, he's not double-minded like the waves over here, like most of the people here. He says no, he says yes, and he sticks to it. And he said, if he makes a mistake, owns up to it, and he moves on. If he has to forgive or get forgiveness, you know, you move on. You give forgiveness, and if somebody wants to forgive you, cool. If they don't, forgive them, and then you move on. But, you know, a lot of people, especially the last year, you know, they sit in a rut inside. Quarantine has really grappled a lot of people. I have cystic fibrosis, you know, like I was saying earlier, and it's a comorbidity, and so I'm on a, I had to actually be put on a list, right, for the second rounder-ish. Um, so they sent me an email and said, these people are okay to, it's like getting on an airport, on an airplane, right, you know, first class, so on and so on. So when I got this email, it listed my, you know, quote, disability. And so I got sick, um, a year ago in February and then typically I get sick every February um, which sucks you know but then I got uh, sick again at the end of May in June in the whole month of June and I had 65% uh, oxygen and I literally almost died on May 29th yeah so last breath literally I mean I had to you know get the EMS people to give me oxygen when they came. I was like, I need oxygen. <laughs> I, when you gotta ask for stuff, you gotta ask for stuff. You know, you can't have be prideful about it anymore. You just gotta, you know, do what you gotta do. And they tested me uh, for the first time because the doctors thought it was COVID. And I'm like, no, it's CF complications. I got, you know, it's <laughs> this isn't my first rodeo with CF and going to the hospital. It is a little odd to be in the hospital in the summertime. That doesn't usually happen. And then they had to test me to get out of the ICU. So they tested me once and then it was negative and then they couldn't believe it because <laughs> I still had all of the symptoms. You know, now some of the symptoms are sneezing, <laughs> you know, but uh, they tested me again and it was negative. And so I got out and I was like, you know, I had to be, I told you so because they were so arrogant, these people. These doctors are so arrogant especially right now um and so a couple like a week later or so i was tested again and i was negative of course and that really supplanted me and put my foot down and cemented me into i what am i afraid of what am i afraid of seriously you know like i couldn't do this anymore that would suck Sit, playing at, you know, sitting at home playing video games, watching TV and researching movies and everything else. That's not fun after a while. So you got to get outside and be passionate about what you are. If you are a painter, set up shop somewhere. Like we have to start thinking about providing for ourselves instead of, you know, grocery stores doing it for us. There are so many people that I see in this flat earth community, for example, who grow their own food and they're so excited about it and they're so prideful about it. And I, you know, I appreciate that, to see that, you know, people really jumping on the bandwagon to, you know, pull up their own turnips or carrots or potatoes or put in the work, you know, you really got to put in the work. And a lot of Americans clearly don't want to put in the work. I mean, they just want to go with the flow where the wind takes them. And the wind is the speech of ma mainstream media. Yeah, I got these stickers here for you guys. You guys uh, should check them out. They're pretty fun. They're kind of, uh, they're logos of, uh, you know, things that we are uh, familiar with, but they have flat earth, uh, you know, things to them. So, yeah. It's a little windy, but, you know, if you're interested, you could look at, uh, look through them. It's up to you. You want one, bud? No, thank you. Yeah, no worries. That's, you know, why I bring them out here. Yeah, right. <laughs> and 
friends. So yeah. It was nice talking to you. Yeah, you too, guys. Yeah, you also. Yeah, that's that's the thing that sucks is I'm too weak, woke right now, you know? Want to go back to sleep sometimes, but you know what's a nice day like today? I got plenty of time this week to sleep when it's raining. So, all right, fellas, have a good day. Take care. Yeah, it could be, uh, Marilyn. Get rid of the parasites. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to do something here real quick. Um, just wanna say hi to the chat at D Live. Whoop. Streaming on Face Palm, also uh, Etheric Bliss. Yes. Uh, what's up, Alex? Yeah, sorry, I didn't have uh, you know D Live open for that period of time. I do have this here. I wanted to share this real quick before I forget in uh, the D Live chat. I did share it on Face Palm. Uh, I need a thousand subs on YouTube's to stream live there. I know that uh, other Alex for TrueTube says he's coming out with a live application to his website. So I'm, you know, that's something to think about. Uh, I am re-uploading my video from yesterday onto Insta. I have to break it down at long segments. So I basically have to re-watch it and delete all of the pauses or the times that, you know, I'm not really saying anything to shorten the video a bit. So I'll be doing that, uploading to there. Um, but just uh, DLive and Facepalm until I can get a thousand subs at my Sebastian Durden channel, which is right here in the DLive chat. Uh, Instagram account is down below in the about page. Uh, scroll down on DLive and you'll see it. Um, the uh, PayPal pool is for a 360 4K VR uh, camera. And I already got uh, you know some money for it. And so I'm willing to pay half of everything that I need to get that 360 camera to go. So the PayPal pool is up um, and it's just like a couple hundred bucks. I'll pay the uh, other half. So if you want to help out, I have that going for the month of April and whether I get the money or not, I'm going to buy it. So I mean, <laughs> I'd really appreciate if you want to contribute if you haven't, but you know, um, it's up to you if you want to participate, you know, no worries. Um, it just would help with uh, everything and I know that people like to offer and it's anonymous if you just want to help divvy out the cash. How you doing? Looks like he's going to rob a bank with his uh, bandana. Holy buckets. Are you guys alright? Drafty out here. Somebody left the window open. This is like a convertible. Somebody left the convertible open. Shut that ozone layer down. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to mention that yesterday, but you know, I just got caught up with things. 
So that stream went for five hours yesterday, so I'll be able to break it up into five hour, uh, five one hour streams. And then I'll premiere them on my uh, Sebastian Durden channel and get that stuff going. I have an Authentic Intent Archive number 52 YouTube channel. So that's going to be with all my videos that I've done in the last three years. This year and therefore on is going to be a new experience because of COVID and Flat Earth together. Just to kind of, you know, separate just, you know, Flat Earth and no COVID with Flat Earth and COVID right now. So it's just a new time. You got to uh, grow with the times and experience new things. Um, yeah, sorry. I was uh, in the D live chat. I just want to do a quick other shout out. Um, anybody else? Jumpa67, Christopher David. Um, let me see if I can do this here. Bar on my, uh, whoop. Uh, all right. So hey, everybody else in the chat. So I guess I can just do this here. So, you know, keep it clean. Thanks a lot, everybody, for stopping by at uh, 3 o'clock, coming up on 3 p.m. Central Time on April 5th, the day after Easter. Hi there. Just got to bring a lot of treats. <laughs> yeah, so like I was saying yesterday, I was playing, I've been playing a lot of Red Dead Redemption 2. And one of the storylines that I've, I put together just in the brief time that I've been playing it is your main character and the other characters that you kind of team up with in the game. Infol, well, maybe I did mention this, infiltrate the police officers yeah go over here yeah. what are you listening to george floyd court oh yeah it's interesting it's where i've been listening to it for the time yeah do you think but it's like oj i hope they're in it's simple i mean i listen to that every bit uh, for that yeah together weekly mm. basis you know and discuss it and, yeah um in in ways all the lawyers are good it's what it seems you know very very far yeah um it's interesting what's your perspective from it now so far what do you think is going to happen well, one thing you haven't brought out hi is um okay the restraint on the neck why was that even you know they're coming out with different information with that Mm -hmm. So it could be where that is a tactic that they use. Mm -hmm. But why when there's four police officers, why would they employ that tactic when he was not a threat? When they have four police officers, why? <laughs> and they said there's a two minute time, for, you know, that they can apply the pressure and then release. Okay. You have to count it, but, like basically in yeah, wrestling. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. So, but still, why? You know, with four police officers, yes, he was taller, whatever. Um, why couldn't they restrain him in certain ways? Yeah. And so that. Mm -hmm. And if it, I keep saying if it is all true, you know, because if it's not theatrical, which it doesn't seem like, because all, all the check out, you know, all the witnesses seem to be authentic, mm -hmm. yeah. sincere. Everyone, you know, I met one of the witnesses to his manager at a car wash. So. Wow. He's, they're all, they all seem to be. Mm. I think it's on the up and up. I think, except that there could be. To begin with, there could be. You know, with the encounter with George Floyd, knew Chauvin. You know, mm. and none of Chauvin's neighbors knew he was a police officer. George Floyd's dad was a 33 degree Freemasonry. Heard that all those things. So mm. I, you know. Has fentanyl been brought up yet? Yes, it has. What did they say so about that? that? Well. The medical, the doctor testified today, and most likely that was not, it was not drugs, but those can contribute to certain things, certain findings. Like so heart rate or anything like that? What? Heart rate, you know, stuff like that, um, blood flow to create the... Certain things that they found, 
there were certain points. Mm -hmm. Like basically, I mean, what the doctor's conclusion was to was asphyxiation. Asphyxiation. Yes. So, well, I mean, yeah, which could be without the bed. Yeah. And yeah, you'd have to listen to the whole. You know, what are they? The well, thanks for the summaries. <laughs> 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 Just give me the summaries, right? Um, well, if you know, when I think about it, one thing for me is I lean towards he's most likely to get off because yeah. if they do charge him with something, then police will be able to present a case and say, well, what are we supposed to do then? You know, what, what force or you want to retrain well, right, us? Right. Absolutely. So what it. are we supposed to do? That's right. You know, they feel, they, they would feel like, well, our hand, our hands are tied now. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you might as well just get rid of us because if we can't determine what it is that's necessary for each situation at hand, then where, what do we do? Right, right, right. So, of course, I mean, that's why I lean towards him not being prosecuted or charged and, and even charged severely. Yeah, if they can I mean, find something. They'll find, they got to find something. They got to dig real deep. It has to go beyond reasonable. It has to. It has to. Because how, what are police so, going to do? Just give them tasers for crying out loud. Yeah. Right. I mean. And then you have to think of the whole scheme of the thing, you know, too, with the whole agenda. Mm -hmm. Maybe how it, you know. Do you think it's an act? Do you think that's just all an act? Or do you with think George it's. Floyd? Or um, the whole, did the courtroom situation? Or do you think it it's like. It doesn't seem to be. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, it seems to check out with everything, the, the lawyers, the witnesses, all of, mm -hmm. uh, all of it. It just, but I don't know, I don't know. Well, I mean, with that being said, the narrative in and of itself right. sounds flaky. It does. You know, yeah. so like, yeah. they, the courtroom could be real and everything, You're but right. the okay. charge and the uh, situation and everything going on, right. why it's even exists, right. is questionable. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So... Some guy showed up yesterday with an 846. $20. It's another thing. The $20, you know, that we yeah. not have. You know, I kept thinking that too. Yeah. That doesn't usually have yeah, he, an arrest for that. Okay. Uh, what was that? Oh, I was going to say, well, a guy showed up yesterday with an 846 shirt, you know? And I was like, hey, do you know what the sunset was that day in Minneapolis? I saw the video. I saw the whole oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, okay. I mean. Was that at the end? Yeah, it was at the very, seconds, very end. Those yeah, it was, guys. Yeah. Uh -huh. Was that the very, very end? I saw that. And then I saw that. Yeah, they were kind of showy. Um, <laughs> yeah. The one guy was really good. Uh, oh, yeah. For uh, quite a while. Um, I don't know what Braylon? his name was. He may, you know, he knows um, what's going on, too. Hi. I think so. Uh -huh. I'll have to check the chat. What was oh, his name again? Remember? Yeah. He got your information. He's yeah, like, yeah. I know. His, his, yeah, I remember. I'm just friend. trying to think of his name again. Yeah. Hopefully he'll be back. <coughs> yeah, okay. Maybe. But yeah, yeah, I stopped over at whatever I took it late. Mm -hmm. so I to get something to eat. But um, and then James. Yeah, James messaged me and did he really? Yeah, yeah. He messaged okay. me and said, "Hey, here's a photograph of me sitting in the airplane, looking at the horizon. And look, if you put you a know, ruler up to it, it's curved." That was the one. The one I was going to say about that. Too, yeah. With the special, with the lens. Yeah. Did you? Well, yeah. So I was like, "Well, um, thanks for the picture, but this, you know, there's many variables to this. Like, right. for instance, right. you're sitting in a plane, looking out a window, right?" Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, I yeah. mean, Look there you go. You're not looking trails. at it with your natural eyes. And there's chemtrails. So, well, I mean, there's start with looking thing. at it with your natural eyes. Mm -hmm. okay, People question. don't think yep. of that. They yep. look at things through obstruction and things in uh, front of them, and they think that things are the way that they appear. And it's like, even your mirror on your car says things are closer than they appear. Right, right, right. Yep. Or further, or yep. vice versa. So... You can't trust th second and third party mechanics and things of that nature. Yeah. You have to see it with no. your own eyes. Yeah. I've heard this special. There's so, windows, certain types. Could be. Maybe. Could Maybe. be. Could be. Regardless, it's part of the variable that you can't tell me that you put a ruler up to it. This or that. Now uh -huh. the earth is a globe. Like, give me a break, bro. Mm -hmm. Even sci mainstream science says that you can't see curvature mm -hmm. from a commercial airliner. Mm -hmm. 
So I don't know right. what you want. I'm going to keep coming out to the table. Right. When you figure it out and connect the dots, you right. come holler at me and I can, you know, we can right. dialogue yeah. about How long was the some of the things. Messaging. Oh, just yeah, well, 10, 15 minutes. Okay. Yeah, nothing okay. big. Because so. he's, he's on quite a bit. Quite, quite. Oh, yeah. I know. That's, that's, um, yeah. Well, I'm on it right now. Thanks, Face right Palm. Oh, my God, I'm streaming live, live right on Face Palm. ND mm -hmm. Live. I need a thousand subs to. Whoop, I need a thousand subs to uh, get uh, YouTube's going again. Okay. Because uh, um, when I signed up a couple a number of years ago, like four years ago, to go live, you only needed a hundred subs. Huh. But now you need so many that they're not just going to let any you know Jane well, Smith yeah. join and want to stream live because they could be crazy conspiracy theorists. So you have to have it to, to begin with. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, but we still have face palm. Thanks. And then I'm breaking down the videos for an hour because you can only put hour long videos up on Instagram. So I'll just put those up on Instagram. Yeah. So, and then put them on that uh, Thursday group. Thursday? Video, uh, web, web, uh, you know, we, that me, we group. Are you, you're part of that, right? The meet we group with that Thursday night group. I could go. Yeah, I think I'm ready. Yeah, I've been. I think I have a doctor's appointment this week too. This week. Yeah. You're fine. Everything oh yeah, I'm fine. fine. You know, just regular, you know, checkup and just. just experience symptoms yeah. Yeah. What's up? You experienced symptoms. I did. Yeah. Well, I mean, CF stuff. You know, but I had short of breath, but it wasn't anything enough to bring me to the hospital. You know, I really felt like. <clears throat> I didn't want to go to the hospital and I just tried to wait it out and things got better. Right. So, right. not typical, but you know, I'm on that new drug, Trikafta, okay. for CF2. So, okay. yeah. you know, you got to compromise. And, you know, if you want to stay around a little bit longer, I guess, you know, people want to compromise with their health. That's up to them. But, you know, nobody's nobody has CF that I know. Okay. And they have to, that I know, that has to deal with what I have for their whole life and then decide whether they want to take trek after or not. But there's a lot of healthy people. I'm as healthy as I can be with what I have that aren't going to take the vax. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's kind of like one of those right. things. There's more and more people that are taking it. Yeah, there's more, more and more people that are just across, that just come right soul. out with it, say it. That they've mm -hmm. been double vaxxed, you know? So. Yeah, how many vax do I have to take? Can I take more? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I know. Right. And when is it? And how many strains are there? <laughs> yeah. Because how many strains are there? Can I take five for every strain? The way they want mm -hmm. to. Oh, okay. Mm. And then walk around the lake, ran to a guy. So, uh, um, he doesn't mind sitting at our table because he's comfortable with it. So hopefully most of the people have been advanced. So I said, okay, now <laughs> the vaccine. When there's 99 percent yeah know, survival with the rate. survival with the, with the virus people are take, just you're gonna take an experimental vaccine okay. <laughs> i know it's and like mainstream science it's, it's mainstream he wants to protect he used you know Fachu's statements i want to protect those you're going along with the narrative mm -hmm. yeah it's too bad maybe you know he'll wake up in the very end that's why I wrote Bill Gates is not a doctor. Maybe people will right. look into that. I have just as much of a medical degree as he does, I guess. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Just, masks and vaccines are not natural. No, it's, right there, they're too. not. They're, no, we people, have to make them. Human beings have to make masks, and no so they're not even, natural. Right, no one could erase <laughs> over that. If they right. think they're natural, that mm. would come off pretty, you know. Yeah. So that could be something. If you put 100% organic and natural made from 100% cotton on the mask box, would people buy it? Yeah. More often? Uh-huh. Just want to breathe in all those particles that you breathe in the first time you put a mask on. Like smoking a cigarette. It's literally like smoking a cigarette. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it is. So, and you can't ever get back your oxygen level when you do that constantly. <laughs> you have permanently put in a level of CO2 into your body that you can just maybe you can't get rid of. 
Who knows? Mm -hmm. Won't be surprised. Yeah.